pretty good. Is that so, a good answer? Yeah. Hmm. So how much of this? How much of this did you actually know about beforehand, and how much have you learned now? Um. Well, I, I, about the story itself, I didn't know too much at all about it. I mean, I, I've obviously see, I've seen my fair share of uh, World War Two films, and uh, I watched a hell of a lot in the lead up to to this film when I found out I got it. But um, in terms of the actual birth of the commandos, the thirty commando, I, I I didn't have any clue about it. Obviously, I've watched James Bond films, but the actual birth of it during World War Two. Uh, through Ian Fleming is uh, was new to me, and um, I've learned along the way. Did as much studying as I could um, about the Thirty Commander. The amazing thing, actually, I found out recently is when I looked them up. I looked up the original uh, Thirty Commando, and I saw the sniper amongst them. And this was the, actually the beautiful thing about it was actually they weren't sort of what you'd imagine as a stereotype of what a commander would be. You know, a big, butch, strong man. They're well trained. These were just like, you know, slim, normal looking guys, man, you know, and um, the amazing thing was that I found out that the sniper amongst the original 30 Commando was called Guy as well. I don't know, I was amazed by it, it's not mm -hmm. that great. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be. It was meant to be, I think that's why I got cast, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, as far as like being out there in the yeah. snow and ice and everything like that, I mean, how much has that taught you about being a commando? Oh yeah, hell of a lot. We did um, the first week. We we did it in a location in uh, the south of Norway, which was very windy and hilly, and we did most of the training there. And because we did the film in chronological order. Um, we were able to when we actually train as commandos. We're actually training as actors, so um, we had a, a, a brief. Um, introduction into what it would be to be a Royal Marine a week before we came to set and then the actual training took part as we were filming if you see what I mean mm -hmm. um, so that's what we did and then in terms of my own research into I, 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 I spoke to people who were actually snipers in the army um, and I, you know I, I researched all the different methods of um, and intricacies of what uh, snipers do and what they have to come up with and the breathing techniques which are so important and which I don't think are depicted in in any sniper film that I've seen and that's the angle that I was going for with this in particular was um, you know whereas perhaps in Saving Private Ryan you had the guy who would kiss his cross and give a prayer or perhaps Jude Law in Enemy of the Gates had his own technique and other snipers um, what I wanted to and I spoke to Adrian about this what well, I, I kind of wanted to base his technique purely on his breathing you know what I mean? So within sound design as well, in post, hopefully they can get the breathing in, because it's very, it's kind of weird. It's very zen. You have to be very relaxed, and air has to be out of your lungs, and then you shoot. It's very rhythmic and poetic, actually. Um, but that was most of my research. I, I mean, I met a guy who's a sniper in the uh, Israeli army who who taught me through all the little, uh, you know, intricacies of what it is to be a sniper and make it realistic. Mm. So. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll carry on in a second if you want. Okay. All right. <laughs> what is Riley about? What's he about? Yeah. You mean what's his job? What's he do? What's he do? What's his role in the troop? You know. Uh, well, Riley um, is a sniper in the Thirty Commando, or in the birth of the Thirty Commando. He's uh, the sniper amongst a bunch. He grew up. Well, he um, he he kind of. Learn how to snipe and hunt and be a marksman with the uh, the Gillies, who were a bunch of huntsmen in Scotland, um, who went on to develop camouflage for snipers and so on and so forth. But that's why he's such a good marksman. And um, Sean Bean's character Jones brings him into the bunch because he's such a good good shot. Cool.